uh, Pierce, we were a half an inch away from civil war. We were a head not turning this way from a civil war. We've all seen the videos. And by the way, there, there is nothing wrong with questioning anything. Mm. One of the videos we showed is a reporter going around uh, in California asking people, what do you think about the assassination attempt mm. on the president? And everybody this person asked in California, everybody said, oh, it was a setup. Well, we actually, it, I'll it tell you what, act. Patrick, let it me stop it because we, we actually have that. Let, let me play that so that viewers know what you're talking about. Sure, go for it. Oh, it's a false flag. False flag. Yeah, false flag. People, somebody died and two people injured. What do you think about that? False flag. False flag. I thought it was magnificently staged. It was professionally done. Wait, wait, wait. Staged by who? Oh, by Mr. Trump, of course. I think this whole thing is staged. No. Please don't. No. We're so anti-Trump. I don't even want to Was it a bad thing, though? Was it a bad thing? Would you condemn it? Oh, that he got oh, shot yeah. at? Of course. Yeah, yeah. Was it staged? Probably. One person died in the crowd, two critically injured. What yeah, happened there? small price that doesn't ma wouldn't matter to Trump. Do you think he cares that people die for, for him to be elected? Put a little scratch on his ear, threw a little blood on his face. Uh, now, so you think that they planned from 130 yards away to shoot off the corner of his ear? And they never shot off the corner of his ear. That was all done by the people hanging around him. What about the people that died? In, what about the father that died in the stand as well as the others that were critically know. injured? I don't know. I'm not. I can't tell. What would you say our reasoning is for saying that? Or, or we have no reasoning? Just the feeling. Just the feeling. If Trump is involved, it's a fraud. I mean, it's staggering to me to hear that. And yet I had first-hand experience in the UK I, from various people that I encountered within 24 hours of what happened, immediately saying to me, because they recognised me and knew I'd been covering this, they, they said, this thing staged, right? This was all set up. And I was like, what are you talking about? Of course it wasn't set up. But trying to, trying to make them understand it was real was pretty much impossible. But here's what I don't have a problem with. I don't have a problem with them saying that. I'm okay, okay with that. And put that as a possibility that it was staged. Now, the possibility of being staged may be 0.1%. But we ought to put it out there as maybe this is possibility. Fine, give your argument. But at the same time, I have a lot of questions just like you do. Mm. The story that came out with the second shooter. The story that came out with the FBI power washing all the stuff on the top of the building after the shooter was gone, and maybe they don't have any residual effects of the shots fired. Maybe there's no residual effects. That's not a hard thing for us to find. They found the phone. You mean to tell me you didn't find anything in the phone on what was being said? We can't expect why the Secret Service, when I go online and I Google Joe, President Joe Biden's Secret Service team and go to images, try to find one woman one female, that's one of his, you will not be able to find it. I went online and looked at all his team. Everybody is a white male. I thought President Biden was about DEI and, you know, underrepresented. How come he doesn't have a single person that's transgender or lesbian, gay? How come he doesn't have somebody from that community to represent him? And forget about that. Why is it that every one of his Secret Service members are white male, let alone for Trump, when they're being pushed into it, Three, four, five of them were women. This is an area where DEI is being exposed in and ways also, that we just I mean, got a Patrick, story yesterday. It, yeah, I mean, look, I, I, I don't have a problem with women in the Secret Service. They just have to be as good as the men, right? And they have to be up to the job. What was pretty horrifying was the agent that you saw, who's unfortunately for her gone viral, who can't even put a gun in a holster in, in that environment. And you're like, how on earth have you got into the Secret Service? This is like supposed to be the absolute elite of the elite of protection people in the world. And she can't put a gun in a holster twice as she's trying to protect a president who's just been shot. But think about it from this way. Many, many years ago, when I'm running an office and I had 100 agents that are selling insurance, and one of my agents would come in and say, I have a family member that wants me got a very complicated uh, financial situation. Their net worth is 10 million. Can you have somebody come and sit down with them? I would choose who I would send to go meet with the family that is the biggest expert in our office that knows how to handle a situation like that, right? I choose how to match up the right agent advisor with the right appointment. The director of Secret Service has the ability to match up the best agents who are the most experienced one against the person that's attracting the biggest audience, mm -hmm. which is President Trump. You ought to send the right people to protect. Why did you not? By the way, this is the same person 
that in 2022, when asked about the text exchange between the Bidens during J6, all of a sudden she's like, oh, the text exchange disappeared. We lost it. But look, we're not trying to do anything, you know, that's negative or we're not trying to hide anything from the public. So I have a very hard time. And every one of these questions need to be asked because it's a little bit disturbing when all these stories are coming up. By the way, specifically when? So let's actually think like the devil's advocate. Let's actually think if they were trying to do something, you know, something negative or something that, you know, manipulative to to kind of hurt the president. So the judge comes out and says, you know, we're going to pick what's going to happen to the president a few days before RNC, July 11th. Okay, no problem. They changed the dates. No problem. The assassination attempt is when? When is the RNC? What did they want to do? Did they want there to be shambles before the RNC? Did they want right now at the RNC where, in, where the energy is high, the confidence is high with who they have chosen as their nominee, which is Trump? And you see a unification coming up. Nikki Haley got up there. DeSantis got up yeah. there. Vivek got up there. Elon Musk just said he's going to get $45 million a month to a super PAC before now and the end of the year. Bunch of billionaires are coming out. There conversations with a Jamie Dimon, conversations with an RFK, the video that was leaked. You know how bad this is for the DNC? If, if, if the same person, Vive, uh, uh, the, the same folks that are saying this was staged, mm-hmm. we ought to also ask, was this intentional to do it right before the RNC? That question should also be on the table. I just think all questions are perfectly legitimate when we, when we know so little answers. There's no a motive has been established, no real information about this shooter or why a 20-year-old kid would want to kill Donald Trump. Uh, we just don't know anything about it. And very little, very again, very oddly, very little is emerging about him or motivation or anything. 